Good morning. Today I'm going to start a video that is going to span the length of this week for school. So this week I'm going to show you how we use Under the Home in our homeschool. So I'm just going to show you the snippets that we're using from Under the Home, when we use it, how we use it, and give you a little glimpse into that so you have an idea how this curriculum works and why we're loving it so much. So hey, my name is Adrian from Hello Harris Homeschool and on this channel I love to talk all things homeschool, family life, and motherhood. So I've been talking a lot about our curriculum lately and I'm going to show you how we're using that today. So I'm going to turn this around and show you what I have set up and then we're going to jump into our lesson for Monday. So we're going to start our morning time. I've opened my planner, I've gotten out this which I keep all of my um, printed out um, worksheets and coloring sheets and such in it and what we're doing. So this morning we just finished our breakfast and we did theology. So we're gonna sit down and do our morning time. We're going to do our morning menu and our poetry from under the home. So I grabbed our poetry and then today we're also doing history, which is not from under the home. And we're gonna do our art history from under the home. So I've got our poetry from under the home and our art history from under the home along with our other morning time activities. This morning, we are just going to read a new poem. And the way that I like to do this is we have two poems per week. And so we will read a poem for two days and then move on to the next one instead of reading each poem every day like it suggests. That's just too much for us. So we're going to read, oh, not that one. We're gonna read The Heron Who Was Hard to Please today. And I, We'll have them do a coloring sheet the next day with it. And then we're going to look at a new painting today for Under the Home. And so I will just open this up and have it ready to be focused here. We're gonna do a new painting this week. We haven't done it in a while, but we're gonna do a new painting. Okay, so. This painting is by Georgia O'Keeffe. Okay, so we're just gonna look at it on here. And we're gonna set a, dead a timer. one minute timer to look at it, okay? Here we go. So we are going to set a one minute timer. I was having a bit of an issue getting my timer to work, but we're going to just sit here and look at the painting, take it all in, look at the colors, see if we can't picture it in our head when we close our eyes. And that just gives everybody time to notice things about the painting without telling them anything about it beforehand i can ask them what they see afterward what they think the title of the picture is what it's about um, this just gives us time to study it and enjoy it for a minute before we start discussing it can anybody find a mountain in this picture mountain. can you find can you move your fingers can you find the mountain peaks Peak. where the mountain comes to a point the mountain peaks. Right here. No, it's mm -hmm. kind of smooth. Right, so where do you think the mountain peaks are? Move your hand, Kenny. I think the mountain peaks are right here. Because think so? Okay. Mommy, do you, does ah. anybody see, okay, does anybody see a lake? Oh. Mm. Okay, what about a reflection? Can you find the reflection of mm. the mountains? So look. These, uh, move. these are the mountains. You see them? You see the peaks are the tall points of it. Mm -hmm. Now, this looks the same. It looks like you folded it over here, right? So this is the reflection of these mountains. <laughs> what the colors do we see? Blue, blue, blue purple, not greenish kind not of green. thing. It's called Florida. Lake George. So, does anybody remember who painted this picture? Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe. So, this is Lake George by Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe spent...
The heron who was hard to please. A long-legged heron with long neck and beak set out for a stroll by the bank of a creek. What I remember is that there was a bird with uh. that was hungry and there was someone else and he said and the bird said are you going are you going to do this which i don't really know it's just what he said and then he would and then he opened his wide beak to try and get some fish and there was no fish and he was happy that he had a snail can i tell me what we read what did we read about Okay, so today is Wednesday. We don't do under the home subjects on Tuesday. That is our enrichment day or our co-op day. So today we are going to do science, poetry, and a new music lesson. So this week I'm going to open my planner and we are, whoops, not that one. So I've pulled out the um, teacher's guides for the end of the home subjects we're going to do today. We're going to start with science. And so today we are learning about, oops, that was last week's, the Katie did, cat, I don't know how you say this, but that's what we're learning about. Uh, I'm going to pull up the audio of the story and we're gonna do our narration today. And then I think we'll probably classify the animal today and that will be it for science. So I'm gonna grab my kids a snack. We're gonna sit on the couch and listen to the audio recording of the story and do our narration and have snack time together. And then we will come back and we're going to do our um, poetry. So I've grabbed our book and the coloring sheet that goes with the poem that we're doing with some copy work. Um, I don't care if they don't want to color this, but I do want them to do the copy work. So that's something that they will have a few minutes to work on. And then we'll do our new music lesson. We will listen to a new piece of music and we will see what we're going to get to there. I'll open up my planner and see what I have written down. There was a bunch of Katie's when the spring came and the grasshoppers were the Katie's cousins and the, they decided to have a party but some of the people in Katie's slept in night and some slept in day. And there was the two singers that was saying, Katie didn't, Katie didn't. And then there was another singer saying, Katie did, Katie did. But the Katie that was saying, the singer that was saying Katie didn't was actually saying Katie did. The one that was saying Katie did was actually saying Katie didn't. That's all. Okay. You want to tell me your narration? You want to wear this? Okay. Hi, there you go. Did we read? Yeah, it was on the TV. Did we read about a Katie did? <laughs> Can we play Katie? <gasps> I said Katie! You did? Katie did it. Yeah. Katie just sing. No, we didn't. Yeah. You are so big. That was a narration. You're so big. Hey. Okay. Narration just say I did it. Good job. Let me go to Sophie. And who was hard to please. Big. Did you do it? 
Oh, you're such a big girl. Okay, so we. Purple. Yeah. Okay, so we finished our poetry. We're going to move on to music. And we're going to listen to the piece for the first time today and read through the synopsis. And then there's a picture on the back to look at. So I'm going to let these two over here finish their copy work. Gemma wants to be a big girl like the two big boys. And so she gets her own picture that she gets to color on. And we will hang it up here when they're all done to display their work for the week. But we're going to give them a few more minutes and then we'll listen to our music piece and see what they think sure. on here of Baba Yaga. What's that? Okay, so this is a savage woman who rides in a porter, a, oh, a pestle and mortar. Why did I get those letters mixed up? Why, why does she run this? That thing? That's the story, okay? This is a story, okay? And here is the pestle and mortar, and they used this to grind up herbs. So, right, like when we grow herbs outside and then we crunch them up to cook with, they would put it in this bowl made of stone, and then they'd take the cylinder piece Mommy, up here and they'd grind it up. Mommy. So, the story is that she rides in one of these. Good job. We're gonna we're gonna listen yes. to the music, okay? Are you ready? Ready. You ready? Uh -huh. Okay. okay. What do you think that music sounded like? Crazy. Cool. Crazy. Crazy. Cool. 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 No. Crazy. So scary. Scary. So what do you? But I love it. What do you think that that music tells us about Baba Yaga? That <laughs> it's a rocket ship. Oh. What? Yes. That doesn't make any sense. Math too. Kaden, what? Huh? What do you think that that music told us about Baba Yaga? Uh, that'd be scary. Scary. <coughs> do you think you'd like to meet Baba Yaga? No. No. Yes. No. 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 Okay, today is Friday. We are going to finish up the rest of our under the home subjects. We're going to start with science. Uh, the last time we did science, we just listened to our story and did the narration. So today we're going to watch some videos. We're going to do our worksheet that is coloring and labeling the insect. Um, and then we like to find several different videos, if we can, on the life cycle or some fun facts about it. Um, there might be a book that we can read about it or a song for my toddler. We'll see what we can find on YouTube. And then we're going to do our poem and our coloring sheet. And lastly, we're going to listen to our music piece again and create our own picture of Baba Yaga. So we're going to start with science and see what we can find for our videos. Katie did. Okay, I also forgot we didn't read the synopsis this week, so we're going to read that and then we'll do our coloring sheet. Like fireflies, butterflies, bees, mosquitoes, dragonflies, beetles, and grasshoppers, Katie Dids are insects. Katie did, she didn't, she did, poet James Whitcomb Riley writes. Is a witch, a little kid. So that's Baba Yaga, and that's the little kid. Baba Yaga in her broom. So ugly and stupid, the kid. Oh, yeah. Yikes. Mean Baba Yaga. <laughs> mean. Baba Yaga is a mean witch that likes to eat 
kids. And this is Bobby Yaga in her big bowl in her spoon and broom. And this is the little girl. And this is kind of the <coughs> doll that oh, the doll. that she fed and let her eat bread. Yeah, from the book that we read. So that was one week of Under the Home for second grade science, first grade art history, first grade poetry, and first grade music. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope this just showed you that you can take the curriculum and use it how you want, showing you how simple it was. Um, sometimes I know that it's helpful for me to see how other people use a curriculum. So I hope that this helped you. I hope that this blessed you. I will leave a link down below to all of the specific curriculum from Under the Home that we are using. Um, and just check it out for yourself. We love it. There are definitely other subjects for Under the Home. They have history, phonics, math, um, excuse my children in the background. They're finishing their worksheets. Um, but they have other subjects. So if you like what you see here, maybe you're looking for a different subject for free that you can do on Under the Home. So if this was helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. Let me know down in the comments if this was helpful or if you would like to see um, some other day in life or do a lesson with us. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.